Hey what's up guys and welcome to another Arc Garage video. Today we're gonna do something different and I'm gonna show you how to do a DIY automatic boot or trunk. So we're basically gonna go from this right here to this with only few items you can buy at the hardware store. This can actually be done on a lot of cars. You can see this line right here it basically shows us how much room we got uh, when the strut is in the closed position so basically uh, if you got two or three centimeters of space that's gonna be enough for you to place the spring one thing you gotta keep in mind as well is that your boot lid has to be light enough first I gotta give you the warning one very important thing you have to do is support your boot lid otherwise it's gonna fall on your head now I'm gonna start by removing the struts and for that I'm gonna use my small flathead screwdriver I'm gonna push this uh, metal piece out and I'm just gonna pull the strut off. Now I'm gonna repeat the same thing on the bottom. Again, I'm gonna use my screwdriver to push out the metal piece and I'm just gonna pull out the strut. Next, I'm gonna repeat the same process on the right side. I'm basically starting with these two springs. I got them at the hardware store. I think they were like Euro piece. Uh, I also compressed them and did some basic measurements and now I'm gonna cut them to the right size. Next thing, I'm gonna grab some rubber hose. As you can see, it fits nicely inside the spring. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut maybe like two or three centimeters of it and I'm gonna fit it inside the spring. Its uh, main job is basically gonna be just to keep the spring centered. All right, I got all of my pieces, uh, but before I assemble everything, let's check out some of the basic measurements. Now this spring fully extended is 43 millimeters long. Now uh, let's check out the width. It's 20 millimeters wide. And uh, let's check out the thickness and as you can see that is three millimeters now the first thing that I'm gonna start with are these uh, rubber washes now they are basically uh, there just to keep the spring from sliding down the strut now I'm gonna put the spring on I'm gonna put this uh, little piece of rubber hose inside of it. I'm gonna put a metal washer on it. And I'm gonna screw back on this plastic piece. One thing that you gotta keep in mind uh, if you are doing this by yourself is that these springs they have to be strong and it is best uh, to use new struts. Now if the struts are weak they are not gonna function properly. One thing that I forgot to mention is uh, that the little black mounting plastic piece of the strut which you just saw me screw back on it can be in some cases hard to uh, unscrew in the first place in that case uh, just use a bit of WD-40 and use a little bit of force and uh, make sure not to damage the strut uh, shaft as I just said having fully operational struts is very important for this I've actually ordered new struts for my Julieta but they delivered the wrong one so I'm gonna have to go with these 
having uh, all the struts might actually prevent this from working properly in the cold weather. Now these two are uh, fully assembled and now I'm ready to mount them on the car. Before I put everything back together, I'm just gonna lubricate these mounting points. The installation process is gonna be very easy. All we gotta do is clip them on. Now you might have to turn this plastic piece just to align it properly. I'm gonna do the same on the other side. And uh, that is basically it. Here are both my struts fully assembled. Before uh, I close the lid, I'm gonna make sure that everything is sitting right. You're gonna make sure that the spring is aligned properly and that everything is in its place. Now just to go over it one more time, the rubber washer that was first mounted right here, it basically just keeps the spring from sliding down the strut when the boot is open. Now this uh, piece of rubber hose inside, it's basically there just to keep the strut centered. And the metal washer just keeps the spring from pushing on this plastic piece. There is one more thing that I have to do before I uh, try it out. I have to see how the boot closes. Now I am feeling a bit of resistance right here, but that's only due to the springs. If you have trouble closing your boot, that might be the indication that the springs you installed are a bit too long and you're going to have to cut them shorter. Since uh, everything looks good here, uh, I'm going to check out how it works. Now I'm going to hit the trunk release button on my key fob for the first time. And as you can see, it is a success. I got to admit, I'm more than pleased with the results. Everything works flawlessly. The trunk opens up smoothly. And uh, this uh, little DIY project cost only like 3 euros. If you have uh, any issues with it, it would probably be due to the worn out struts or another issue could be that your springs are not strong enough. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna keep on playing with this, but that would be all for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you liked it, hit the like button and support our channel by subscribing and by sharing our content with the rest of car enthusiasts.